I thought talking my wife into letting me buy five bows this year was going to be hard. When I told her I wanted to donate four of the five bows to the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, she simply said, that's great, babe, and I started shopping. The way of the bow has consumed me the last couple of years. When I walk out to my range, my mind becomes focused on a physical action that seems somehow rooted to the earth. It's almost spiritual. The way my body loosens slowly over the first few shots until it settles into a familiar form. The satisfaction of the first well-executed shot of the day. The feel of the carbon shaft. The snap of the knock to the string. The tension that builds and then the release. The arrow flies. A repetition that is so hard to repeat. I know these are inanimate objects, but the thing is, they're not. A bow is a tool that can provide peace to a tormented mind. It is a mountain to climb and a lifelong practice that can never be mastered. In the right hands, it is a provider. I may romanticize archery and bow hunting, but I don't want to change. It's something that has brought great joy into my life, and like an evangelical preacher, I want to spread the good news of the ways of the bow. Jocelyn has a heart for land conservation, and I have a heart for elk habitat preservation. So the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation was an easy choice. I don't know what they'll do with these four bows, but I'm sure it will be something that helps us all.